Welcome to Barnet TV. I'm Tara and today we're at the Coptal School in Mill Hill for International Women's Day. We're going to be speaking to some of the students and some panel discussion speakers that have a great empowering story to share about what it means to be a woman today and for our next generation of women. I'm here with head teacher Evelyn Ford for International Women's Day here at Coptal School. Thank you for being with us and putting on this great event. You're most welcome. I'm really delighted that you're here today. So tell us about all the planning and what's going on today. Yep. It's been a lot of planning. Um, we started this about six months ago. We reached out to a number of companies, a number of organizations, um, and today we have a variety of activities. The range is vast. We have coding workshops. We have guests from Goldsmith University who are running Robot Wars. We have amazing presenters. We've got somebody from EasyJet. We've got solicitors. We've got um, engineers. We've got a whole host of females who have come really to inspire our girls today. Don't ever feel like you can't say something just because it's a fail. I'm here with Poonam Dave, who has organized the International Women's Day here at Coptal School. For how long now has it taken you to put this together? It's taken us about six months to put together. Lots of people have helped, lots of hard work has gone into it, so about six months. Yes. Six months, a lot of long nights. A lot of long nights, a lot of early mornings, um, working around our day jobs as well as doing this. So it's, it's taken a while, but it's, it's been worth it. So one of the topics we were talking about today was the fact that women have to pay for sanitary products that men don't have to pay for and that prices when paying for sanitary products are quite expensive um, yet we have seen like a decrease in how much they cost recently. Um, I think that women should have to pay very little or even have pay nothing at all for sanitary products as it's not a luxury, it's, it's something, it's a necessity that we have to deal with. What does it mean to you to be a woman? So I'm immensely proud to be the head teacher of this girls' school. I am passionate about girls' education. So for me, I am really humbled to be in this privileged position in order to really kind of share the message with our girls um, and really just kind of make them aware of the value of education. What does International Women's Day mean to you? Because obviously to put in all that time and spend and six months organizing this one day event um, just for women you've got to have some passion behind it. Working at a girls school really gives us the incentive and we have the passion to really push the girls and you know for gender equality we're really pushing the girls for you know high aspirations uh, where they want to go when they're working when they're older university colleges stuff like that so having this many speakers coming in inspiring the girls has been fantastic and seeing the girls today there's such a like you said there's a buzz around the school so it's been brilliant women have made great uh, progress in the last uh, hundred years but i think there's a lot further that we need to go there's still a pay gap and um, there's all kinds of other issues that we need to address as well i've learned so much about careers um, that I would have never thought about. I think it's just a, it's such a great experience to, to see the girls learning about new new options for them. Going to a girls school has really shown me that in everyday life a woman can go through so many challenges but as women we need to face them for our future generation and um, also in society we need to show that women can do things and we are inspirational and we can do exactly what men do. The reason why the Time's Up and Me Too campaign is so significant now it's because um, women have made it acceptable to come out and say that this has happened, whereas before it was quite shameful. So I think if we educate young girls and tell them that it's okay um, and tell them what to do if it happens, I think that we can try to eradicate it and change, and change views. It makes me very proud and it makes me feel so lucky that we're in a time where something's really being done about it and that change is happening and you know we're part of it and we can all make a change together. And what does it mean to you to be a feminist? Um, I think a lot of people um, think that being a feminist means you think women are better than men, but it's not that at all. I think it's that um, we want women to be treated equally to men. So I think it just means that I'm, we're supporting gender equality and we're anti-sexism because um, women and men should be equal because they're, they're the same people. They're, nothing is different. 
And so what one message would you give to our viewers about International Women's Day moving forward? Maybe it shouldn't just be one day a year. Yep. Um, agreed. And I just said that to a group of year eights. Um, we talk about education, we talk about the value of it, we talk about these girls taking their rightful place on a day-to-day -day basis. But what today gives us is it gives us an opportunity to come together and bring the community in as well um, and really just say, do you know what, this is our day. Um, but we live and breathe it every day, but today is just a little bit more special. Everyone is important in this world. Not only men, women have the same. Women are the same as men. We all are, and that's what everyone should know as well. And you have to present that to younger women so that they can understand that everyone is important and everyone can inspire younger people. Thank you so much for joining us at International Women's Day here at Coptal School in Mill Hill. It has been an incredible day of girl power and equality uprising. Happy International Women's Day to all of our viewers here in the borough of Barnett. And check us out on social media for more updates.